Did you know that the legendary explorer Daniel Boone lived in our state for over 20 years? That's right. He farmed, fished, hunted, even married in our great state. Well, that bit of information caught Derek Long's attention. So he decided to learn more about Daniel Boone by exploring the Daniel Boone Heritage Trail. Tonight, we bring you part one of his journey. I was in Hillsboro the other day when I noticed this monument commemorating Daniel Boone and his 1769 expedition to Kentucky. That got me onto Daniel Boone's trail in North Carolina. Daniel Boone is America's pioneer hero. And I think what is surprising to most people, especially those who live in North Carolina, is that he lived here for 21 years before he moved on to Kentucky. He arrived here uh, in his late teens, about age 18, uh, with his parents in what we call now the Forks of the Yadkin, which is basically Davie and Yadkin County. When Daniel Boone and his family first got to North Carolina in 1752, uh, they came down the Great Wagon Road, which they would have most definitely seen uh, Pilot Mountain. Squire Boone had two tracts of land, each was 640 acres, that's a square mile, and they're about equidistant to east and west of today's Moxville, one on uh, Dutchman's Creek and one on Bear Creek. Squire and Sarah Boone are buried at the Joppa Cemetery in Moxville a logical place to begin the North Carolina Daniel Boone Heritage Trail. The North Carolina Daniel Boone Heritage Trail is, is really a, an outgrowth of an effort of many people living in the western part of North Carolina to sort of showcase uh, and connect people with the life of Daniel Boone by bringing them to the places where they can stand where he stood. Daniel Boone was a farmer, but only out of necessity. He, he really hated uh, the life of a farmer. Uh, and when he was here with his family as a young man of uh, you know, 18, his job was to drive the wagon from the family's farm down to Salisbury where he would trade the produce of the family farm for the things that they couldn't get on the farm, the salt, the sugar, the iron, the shot, and the powder. Uh, but he would look for any opportunity to go off on a short hunt or, or a long hunt. Daniel Boone was a market hunter and he made his living by selling hides, pelts, and furs that he got from his hunting and his trapping. The French and Indian War began in 1754, shortly after the Boones arrived in the area. Fort Dobbs, near Statesville, was built to help defend the frontier. During the French and Indian War, Daniel Boone was not a, a soldier. He was a wagoner. He was in the back driving a supply wagon. That's where a fellow wagoneer regaled him with stories of the bountiful riches of Kentucky. In 1755, Daniel Boone's brother, Israel, was sick with consumption, which we know today is tuberculosis. So Daniel and his mother brought uh, Israel across the Yadkin River at the shallow ford to Bethabara, where he was treated by the Moravian doctor, it was, who was the only physician around for hundreds of miles. Unfortunately, like his wife before him, Israel did not recover. Their two sons were left for Daniel to raise. And so Daniel, being a long hunter, was 21 years old with these two young boys to take care of. And so what he needed more than anything else at, right then was a wife. So he had met this young woman, Rebecca Bryan, at a family uh, wedding the year before. And so they got married on August 14 of 1756. Uh, just outside today's Moxville on Bear Creek. The more you study about Daniel Boone, the more people realize how significant uh, Rebecca Bryan Boone was to uh, his ability to accomplish what he did. Uh, she was a remarkable woman, uh, taking care of not only her own children, but other children in the neighborhood. And while Daniel was gone, uh, she was defending the homestead and it's a, a remarkable story. And Rebecca Bryan Boone really becomes the, the iconic representative of uh, what it was like for women on the frontier. If things weren't tough enough, in the late 1750s, the Cherokee War broke out on the Carolina frontier. It became unsafe for anybody uh, to live there. And over half of the people living on the Carolina Piedmont uh, in 1759 left, including Daniel Boone, uh, and his wife, Rebecca, and their two children. And they moved up to Culpeper, Virginia. By 1762, they're back in the Yadkin Valley region. 
and that's where we'll pick up the trail next time. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. To learn more about North Carolina's Daniel Boone Heritage Trail, visit ncdbht.org. And don't forget the Daniel Boone Family Festival in downtown Moxville on May 6th.